we got the DC fandom event that happened a couple days ago in between the last episode. And it was a lot of stuff revealed. A lot, a lot of stuff revealed. Yeah. I guess we're going to start off with the uh, the gaming section. Yes, sir. Of the uh, of this first. We're going to go through the uh, the first thing they showed, which was Gotham Knights. Uh, this one is a title from WB Montreal. And it is a two-player co-op Batman universe taking place game. Apparently, in this in the universe, Batman is dead. This is this is an alternate universe, I believe. Uh-huh. And this basically focuses on the side characters. So, like, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, etc., what, what do you think about this one? I think? I think it's cool, actually. I think I think it's because you really, um, when you ever get Batman games like this or anything in the Batman mythos, you don't really focus on the side characters as much. You don't focus on Batgirl, uh, Nightwing, uh, Robin, those types of characters. So it's cool that they have like their own uh, little game uh, to, to actually like show off some of the stuff that they're capable of because they're really cool characters yeah. if you look into them. Yeah, they're usually DLC in the Batman yeah. games, you know what but I mean? But now they're taking but, uh, the center stage. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I I don't really know how I feel about this game. It, it looks cool from a visual standpoint, but I just don't really know if this game's going to uh, keep my attention for too long. Mm-hmm. If, if, I, if I was the one to pick it up. I I don't know. It's really up in the air. Yeah. Uh, but I will say the game visually looks great. The gameplay looks great. I think it's I, cool. I just, I just don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I think it's cool that it's going to be co-op, too. Yeah. Like just yeah, I would have liked to see a four-player co-op, though. That would have been dope. Yeah, it would have been, but uh, I think I, I think for a game like this, maybe it'd be, it might be better just having just another player. May not get too chaotic and all the stuff that you're doing. That's just my opinion, but yeah, like, like honestly, just I'm going to wait a little bit, see what more they have to offer, and... I'll keep an eye. I'll keep an eye on it because I do love uh, the Batman games that they come out. The Arkham series is yeah. great, and I'm a big. And fan I believe didn't WB Montreal do uh, Batman Origins? Yes, they did. Arkham Origins, yeah. Arkham. Origins. Uh, I don't. I don't believe that game was was bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so we'll see what hey, they do. Keep an eye out on it. All right. All right. Next. Next up on the list from the W from the uh, DC f- uh, fandom that happened was the uh, Suicide Suicide Squad game, Kill the Justice League. Uh, this one was a title from Rocksteady. And honestly, I, I don't really have much to say because it's a CG trailer. Yeah. A CG trailer. I mean, from, from what I can assess, it takes place in Metropolis, or, or at least the trailer did. Mm-hmm. And it basically had the Suicide Squad. I don't really know how this is going to play out from a gameplay perspective. And the one thing that really kind of made me cringe just a little, just, just, just a little bit of cringe, mm-hmm. was the evil Superman. I personally wasn't a fan because I, I I've seen this done before. You know what I mean in video games. Injustice has beat, beaten this into the fucking ground. <laughs> um, you know what I mean. This 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 like it's it's kind of been done. You know what I mean. So I don't really know how this is gonna work out in the Suicide Squad game. Nor do I know if Superman is the only one that's evil. Like I don't know if they're gonna do some shit where it's like because the game is called Kill the Justice League, right? Yeah. So I don't know if it's something where it's like uh, one of the villains fucking turned all the superheroes evil like I, they in the comics i believe they have some alternate shit like that where like everyone's just a fucking oh well, bad person from what I, I don't saw know if they're gonna the go trailer. that route well from what i saw from the trailer wasn't it brainiac ship that was like you know yeah yeah brainiac brainiac that's that's what i was uh that's what i was thinking of i couldn't really think mm-hmm. of the name off the top of my head because so like, i don't really yeah so what i'm assuming is that maybe brainiac just like took control of maybe I don't know. It, I feel like he either took control of the Justice League or maybe he did something else and, like, make carbon copies, like, evil versions of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who knows? Like, just imagine, right? Do you really think that the Suicide Squad can kill fucking Superman? Yeah. Absolutely not. They're gonna die. <laughs> so, They're gonna fucking die. I'm sort of led I'm to expecting believe... some of them to die. Yeah. I'm... It's a Suicide Squad game. Exactly. <laughs> like, they're gonna... So it's like, like if, if, if nobody dies in a Suicide Squad game, it's gonna be fucking trash. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So, like, I'm assuming, right, it has to, I, I, like, this is my guess, right? Maybe, uh, like, quote me on this whenever um, uh, this game comes out, right? Maybe mm-hmm. it's just Brainiac's, like, carbon copies of them. Like, he maybe, ha- he might have, like, taken, like, kidnapped them and, like, taken their DNA. I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's all speculation, but the questions I have, honestly, the, the big questions that we should be asking is what the fuck is the gameplay loop gonna look like? We know this is Rocksteady, so is this an open world game? I would. How are you gonna? Yeah. How are you gonna traverse? How are you gonna traverse? Like, say, like certain characters don't don't have. They're not. I mean, they're not superheroes. They're villains. They don't have anything special about them. They can't glide like Batman. How the fuck are they gonna traverse an open world game? 
How the fuck are you gonna traverse an open world game as Harley Quinn? Are you gonna fucking <laughs> you get a fucking car? You better be like GTA. You can steal the cars out of people and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But it's like that's that's a good question though. You know what I mean? Like how is it gonna work? I have so much more to see before I am anywhere but sold on this game. So both of these games are kind of up in the air for me right now. They look good visually. The character designs look dope. But uh, where that gameplay at though? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all I really gotta say I on have, that one. I have a little bit of faith in Rocksteady. They t they 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 know what they're doing most of the time. So, I trust that they know what they're doing with this one. Plus, they've had, what, four years to work on this? Ever since Batman Arkham Knight? Because that was the last game that I remember that they put out. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, sure. I wasn't that big of a fan of Arkham Knight either. So, let's see what, let's see what happens. <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so next we got, uh, we're going to go over and switch over to the uh, the movie side. They announced, the first thing they showed was the, uh, the Batman trailer with uh, Robert Pattinson. Mm-hmm. This trailer was dope. I, I like this trailer a lot. This this movie, well, I don't I don't know how this, how this movie is gonna play out, but it looks like the main villain is the Riddler. I from think, what I could tell, I think that um yeah, it's probably the Riddler. I will say one thing that I did like was that it was a very dark movie. Yeah, it was very dark in its tone and its way of uh, introducing Batman. Uh, I, I especially love the scene when he was like, "Who that?" When the the mug was like, "Who the heck are you?" And then he, Batman beat the ever living shit out of that go that thug. And he didn't even stop when he fell. He punched him in the head too. I'm like, oh, God damn. It's cool. Um, Robert Pattinson. I think we mentioned this. Uh, I think if not on the podcast, I think we mentioned last week. Yeah, yeah, I, I did mention it last week because I was gonna say. Cause we were talking about last week how Ben Affleck is gonna yeah, be in the, yeah, in the yeah, Flash yeah, movie yeah, next yeah. year. So I'm like, how the fuck, how the fuck is this this Robert Pattinson movie gonna work out? I said this last week before they even dropped this trailer, and I was just like, wow. Uh, all I gotta say is Robert Pattinson. I, I wasn't sold on him as the I, I wasn't sold on him as Batman, but after I saw the trailer, I gotta say, you know what I mean? You know what I'm, I'm gonna saying? give him a shot. He, he got I'll it. Definitely he got it. Huh? Shot. I want to see what he does. What he did with the role. Like maybe he could. But like, how, how is this shit gonna work with? I've never, I'm Arthur. I've never seen this shit where there's two fucking, there's two different versions of of, of the actors playing one a character at the same time. Yeah, I don't know either. What is, what is going on? I, I, I don't you know, know what I mean. Like, is it like their own universe? Like I like. I mean, apparently, okay. So apparently, from what I can assess, Ben Affleck is an older Batman, and then this this is gonna be year two of Batman year in the two. Batman trailer. Yeah, so I'm I'm assume I'm assuming that. Robert Pattinson and Ben Affleck are playing the same character, it's just at different points in time. Could be. I mean, we're, tw we're like, listen, we're talking about timelines in superhero films. Timelines already in comic books and superheroes is already fucked as it is. Because there could be multiple versions of, like, one superhero playing at the same time, and no one would bat an eye. I have one question, though, with all this, right? Uh -huh. And they're gonna continue, um in with robert pattinson do you think that they'll bring anything related to the joker movie into this one like do you think who knows that yo Quan phoenix is actually gonna come up as joker but here's the thing here's the thing though right here's the thing is it gonna be Ho uh uh joaquin phoenix or is it gonna be fucking jared leto i don't uh, it better not be jared leto because there's two down because you gotta think about it. now there's two jokers oh, yeah, too now there's two jokers and who knows maybe there'll be a third joker because if this keeps going on, they'll have their own version. Well, who the let's fuck go ahead no? and talk about it. Let's let, let's let's go ahead and talk about it. Smooth transition, smooth transition over to the Suicide Squad two yeah. trailer. <laughs> because because okay, so we we know that there is a returning cast. Uh, Margot Robbie's coming back. Uh, Boomerang dude is coming back. Sadly, no Will Smith. <laughs> Sadly, no Will Smith. Unfortunately, but we got Idris Elba. Uh, they gave us Corona Man, but uh, anyway. Oh. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I had to get that one yeah. off. But uh, <laughs> anyway. uh, uh, basically, they dropped the teaser for Suicide Squad two. Uh, oh, oh, they dropped another one. I didn't, I didn't drop, I didn't put this link in the notes. But they had another one where they're basically interviewing the cast mm -hmm. while they were in costume. I've and seen shit like that, that one too. Like behind the scenes shit. I've seen that. Oh, okay. Uh, honestly, here's the thing, right? Because we were just talking about the Joker. So I don't know if I mean. This this is this this is clearly a, a sequel to the original Suicide Squad movie with the Joker in it. So I don't know how how this is gonna play out. Maybe we'll see Jared Leto in it. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see Will Smith in it. Maybe Will Smith was like the old Deadshot and he got locked up or something. 
Hmm. And then and then and then this is like so I don't know, Doug. But you know what I do know? All I gotta say is wait, wait, wait. Also, also, holy what? shit. Harley Quinn. Remember Harley Quinn had her own movie, bro. In between, yeah, us, I completely of fucking and forgot. It was, it was Birds of Prey. Ass. Did you see it? No, but I heard it was. So how you gonna say ass. it's ass? Like, what are you talking everyone about? Everyone said like, it was ass. Did everyone say it was ass? Yes, except SJW warriors. I I don't know. I don't know if everyone said it was trash or not either, because this was so under the radar for me that I didn't even pay attention to when well, it came out. Well, then don't you think that's it? That, don't you think that's like something that tells you like not a lot of people? No, not really, because there are a bunch of independent movies that come out of movie theaters that no one gives a fuck about. You know what I mean? Even they could be great. Fair enough. But, All right, fine. I'll give you that. I'll give you, know? you that. I've heard that it was just straight up. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We haven't seen it, so I'm not gonna call it trash. All right, all right. But uh, who knows? It could have been trash. Uh, but anyways, the fucking what? Suicide Two Squad came out. <laughs> um, uh, um, I don't know, bro. This this looks cool. They didn't really show much. Listen, I would have liked to see like an actual teaser trailer. You know, they fucking showed us this bootleg ass Avengers montage sequence of just all the people you know coming. Makes in. This movie fucking John Cena. There you go. John Cena's in this bitch. Fucking John Cena. Where was he? I couldn't see him in the trailer. Oh, uh, ha ha ha! How funny! How funny! You saw John Cena? Yeah, I saw. I didn't see him. You bitch, yo, stop that! You're not allowed to. Are you sure? Are you, are you yo, sure? Are you sure up, you saw him? No, shut up! That joke is old. Fuck you. We're done with it. <laughs> we ain't. Uh, <laughs> we're done with the you can't see me shit. <laughs> Stop! Get some help! <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, um... <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I think John Cena was in it. I don't know. I didn't see him in the trailer or not. But uh, we got some I other cool people. So uh, we have Pete Davidson. <laughs> I actually hate you so much. <laughs> we, have, we have Pete Davidson and a bunch of other uh, actors reprising the role. Viola Davis is coming back. That's... Yo. I love Viola Davis, bro. She's a dope-ass actress, dog. Um, but yeah. Who knows, bro? Hopefully this is better than the than the last one. I expect everyone to, to die in this one, uh-huh. or the majority of people to die in this one, because you don't you don't come in. This is a Suicide Squad movie, so obviously a lot of people are gonna die. Yeah, you would assume so, right? I mean, in the first Suicide yeah. Squad, I'm, I'm gonna make a prediction. Uh, John Cena's gonna get clapped by an invisible uh, enemy. And he's gonna be like, "Damn, bro, I didn't see you." All right, all right, <laughs> I'm quitting this right now, you bitch. <laughs> all right, uh, anything else you want to add on to the Suicide Squad trailer? Um, yeah, not much. Know? Um, like I said, like you pointed out, um, we don't have too much information. We just got like a teaser, just showing off. Every- it's like they were more proud of the cast that they have rather than the movie that they were showing. What movie? They didn't show shit with like a fucking Avengers team. Oh yeah, team yeah. Hodge. Pretty much, yeah. What, what did they show? It was they a teaser. Showed, it wasn't even a trailer, all, really. They showed all the cast members. Like they're proud of them. Yeah, but anyways, that's that's that pretty much wraps it up for the DC fandom event that happened last week. 